Okay, so let's take a look at question 16, which is uh, similar to uh, the previous question 15 in this problem set, where we have one investment cycle where we're accumulating um, value in an investment, and then the second cycle, um, instead of it just being transferred and continuing to grow, we're actually treating it, we're going to treat it like a loan where we start to take money out of the account down to a zero value, um, and we want to see um, how long or in this case, I think how much we could take out every month um, given a certain number of years. So if we go through the information here, we have a client who's 30 years old and he puts 750 into the account every month until they retire at age 60. So the payment is 750 and it's negative because again, it's a cash flow out of your account and we're building an investment account. We're doing it for 30 years times um, 12 times uh, a year. So that's a total of 360 periods in this investment cycle. Um, there are 12, we're doing it 12 times a year. It's also being compounded annually. So that's just once per year. And the future or the present value of the investment when they start at 30 is zero. And the interest rate here is set to 7.6%. So plugging these numbers into the TVM solver, we are going to find future value, um, which will show that we have an investment that grows to $980,250.96. Okay, and so it's important again to um, bring out the number of decimals to as many as you can, and then you can round them up to the nearest uh, penny there. Then uh, we start when we, at age 60, he retires and he wants to take money out every year for 25 years until the, we have a zero balance. So a zero balance means the future value goes to zero. The present value of the investment here is going to be 980,000. 250 and 96. Now it's not negative because this is not money that is um, flowing out. We're now, it's going, it's now going to be considered like a loan. So we're going to uh, deplete this account. So we'll, we leave that in as a positive amount. Um, the payment is something that we are going to have to calculate. Um, the interest rate that this um, investment has while it's being withdrawn is also 7.6%. Uh, I don't think it changes here. And our, we're going to do this 12 times a year. And in, in the same terms, so that means 12 times a year and the compounding is once per year. And then, so we're going for 25 years. So there's 25 years times 12 periods per year, which is a total of 300 periods in this, um, in this sort of di disbursement cycle. So our payment, when we solve in the TVM solver, should give you a, a total of negative 7146. So the negative payment in this case here is telling you that money is flowing out of this account because we started with a, with a positive um, present value. So we're not building money in this case where we're depleting it. And that means we can withdraw $7,146 per month. So this is the withdrawal rate um, for withdrawal rate for 25 years. Okay, at uh, 7146. Okay, so that's how you would look at this question. Um, again, it's easy with the solver, but you just have to make sure that you, you understand how they set it up where well, the first part is accumulating interest and then the second part is depleting it. And then the compounding here is just set up to be once uh, per year.